work in America. I mean, or Kenny's mic work in general, I guess, you know, you have, you know, 69 me Don and stuff like that. But I think beautiful. Yeah. I, you call him an anime villain. I, I, I consider him more of like a sociopath or a psychopath, depending on the definition of, I always get them confused, but you know what I mean? Like almost <laughs> like a, like a Batman, the animated series, Joker esque kind of villain where he's just trying to be funny, but like he will kill somebody on a moment's notice. I mean, he killed Adam Cole for fuck's sake. <laughs> You know, like like that type of guy. So when he's at his best, A, when he can be the crazed lunatic or just the straight stone cold guy. And yeah, he could do the funny shit. But I think those are his two best like modes of promo. Uh, just to go back to Grand Slam real quick. Kenny had an epic moment when he before the match started with Brian where the crowd is just going wild for, for Brian, you know, like this is the moment they've been waiting for. And then the camera caught him at a great moment and he's just stone cold faced blank saying, I don't give a I don't, shit. I don't give a shit. And that was so friggin' epic. That was so cool because that switch turned. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm not dealing with the goofball. That's what Brian's been calling the elite, a bunch of goofs. This is best bout, uh, best bout machine, Kenny Omega, the man who got seven stars at the Tokyo Dome. I think, I think it was at the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, but uh, do you think Meltzer would give seven stars enough. anywhere else but the Tokyo Dome? Fair enough. And it's, I think, wrestlers who can be multifaceted are so important. If you become a one-dimensional character, you you lose a lot of steam. The moment you show different sides of your personality is the moment where your longevity really comes into play.